Well, U.S. US Vice President Kamala Harris is getting ready to announce her running mate. She's expected to make her decision by tomorrow morning at the latest. Harris will then attend a rally with her pick in Philadelphia later in the day. The Harris campaign has been tight-lipped about the selection process, with few details emerging ahead of the announcement. But there are three candidates who met with her in Washington yesterday and could take the spot. Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona, and Governor Tim Walz of Minnesota. All right, let's discuss this further now. Let's discuss the short list for Harris's VP pick. Uh, Clay Middleton joins me now. He's a Democratic strategist joining us from Charleston, South Carolina. Clay, really appreciate you giving us your time today. I appreciate the opportunity. So it looks like things have sort of narrowed down a bit for Kamala Harris in terms of where she's leaning towards. Should, should, could she be going towards Pennsylvania with Governor uh, Josh Shapiro or is it Minnesota with Governor Tim Waltz? What is your sense in terms of where she could be leaning? But looking at both of these men and what they bring to the table. Well, the vice president is certainly, since she is one, uh, certainly looking for a partner. She is uniquely positioned, having been the vice president under President Biden. Uh, she knows the kind of partner she was to him, and she is certainly looking for someone that could complement her, her vision, her style, and someone that could help her govern over the next four years. So both of these gentlemen, as we are finding, are the finalists. Uh, they both have a lot to offer, uh, especially being governors and also impactful in the battleground states. What about um, their location, uh, key states, Pennsylvania, yeah. Minnesota? How do you think that is going to help them in terms of um, what their take is and what their uh, acceptance is within those states? What do you think that is going to do for her? Sure. I, I think it's only going to make this a stronger ticket, especially since the goal is 270 mm -hmm. uh, electoral votes. Uh, so when you look at Governor Shapiro and the 19 electoral votes that exist there, it's a state that we have to win. Uh, but also when you look at Governor Walz, again, another opportunity he can communicate uh, with those throughout uh, the quote unquote blue wall, mm -hmm. uh, the Midwest. These are states that we must win in November. Who would you lean towards if you could? I mean, when we again, there's both both of them have qualities. Governor Tim Waltz, of course, Minnesota. He's a little bit older, but he's also got the background of being a former uh, U.S. Uh, Army National Guard from that perspective. Yes. But if we look at Governor yes. Josh Shapiro on the Pennsylvania side as well, we know that is a major key state here. So she's weighing in on into all of that. If you were part of that conversation, who would you lean towards more? Well, I, I would just emphasize the importance uh, to the, the vice president that uh, you need a partner, mm -hmm. a true partner in this. I would not try to say this person over the other. I'm also a member of the South Carolina Army National Guard. So I, I like the governor mm -hmm. uh, of, of Minnesota for that reason, but mm -hmm. I also like the governor of Pennsylvania uh, because of his background as also being a um, attorney general. Right. So that's another connection. So again, I think a partner someone that they could trust, someone that they could help govern over the next uh, four years is going to be critical. Indeed, indeed it is. And as well as you mentioned that partner, but that person that is going to help as their VP, as we saw with yes. the choice that President Joe Biden chose to make with Kamala Harris, the choice she's mm -hmm. going to make with who that person is going to be that will be able to match up her nicely with Donald Trump and J.D. Vance in the polls. Um, how is that, where's that influence going to be? And that partnership, as you talk about, how significant that is going to be as they look to see and they read the polls to see where things are going to be. But then, of course, leading into November. Well, in politics, it's all about addition, yeah. not subtraction. And on the Democratic side, on our side, we are adding to. Uh, we're not subtracting like Trump and Vance are. Uh, we are broadening and strengthening and deepening our coalition uh, to get to 270 mm -hmm. so that leader Jeffries can be Speaker Jeffries so that we maintain the, the Senate. And I think our side has a, a better shot uh, than those on, on the other. 
One more last question for you. Donald Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, has said it doesn't really matter who the, v the vice president pick is going to be. Everyone's going to be watching either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. Uh, but I think for her, there is a great deal of significance. Do you agree with what he's saying here? Because there has been the argument that uh, for Kamala Harris's part, at least, her role needed to be more prominent as vice president and now, of course, now leading as now the presidential candidate. What are your thoughts? I, I think it's important uh, who she picks. I think the vice president picking her vice president is going to be very important uh, because it's a good opportunity uh, for the world uh, to, to get a sense of, of her as a leader, decision making, strength, weaknesses, assets, mm -hmm. how she navigates this process. So again, I feel good at the choices that we have compared uh, to who Trump had. All right. We're going to be watching to see what comes out tomorrow morning. Indeed. Clay, really appreciate you getting your time today. Clay Middleton is a Democratic strategist joining us from Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks again, Clay.